Hey guys, Sack Shot 2000, you know, part 2 of the Soul Collection. Forgot to show off one can in the last video, and I got all these balls to show off. Um, Hex Shot Black Cherry, um, tastes better found for than a can to me. I had a can, and uh, it's good, it's good, it's good cherry flavor, but I feel it's a little sweet, so. Yeah, I like strawberry kiwi a bit more. But overall, not bad at all. Um, this is also a very rare voltage in a one liter. Wow, this is so rare by me. Yeah, it's the only one liter bottle I have in my collection. Only Mountain Dew flavor I really get in one liters is regular. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't get cold red and white. One liters. I don't get live wire on one liters either. I don't get white out one liters or pitch black one liters. None of them. So, yeah, that's the. This is definitely collectible. This is definitely rare, rare by me. Live wire 2017 design of all. I've already explained my thoughts on this flavor. Watch part one or first taste if you want to hear them. Mind you, code red 2017 design, 20 ounce ball, pretty good design. And pretty good flavor overall. I, I enjoy Cold Red. Not as much as like Game Fuels as Cherry or Total Flare or any of those, but no, I enjoy Cold Red. Not bad. Though it doesn't taste much like Cherry, in my opinion. We've got regular Mountain Dew 2017 design. Like I said, not. I don't think regular Mountain Dew is particularly great. It's better than Diet Mountain Dew, though. I'll give it that much. Diet Mountain Dew is disgusting. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool design. I actually like how they did it. And by the way, in case you guys are wondering why I don't have a can of lime in my collection, I tried it at my mall, and it was so disgusting that I had to throw it out like halfway into drinking the can. And so, yeah, I didn't want to walk around the mall with an empty can. So, yep, sorry about that. But I just think that, yeah, that that flavor is the best mall. That was, that was so so nasty. Yeah, absolutely dreadful. Don't miss it at all. How many kiwi I do miss though? It sucks that that's gone. Do season. Regular Mountain Dew. Nothing special. Double XP Regular Mountain Dew again. Nothing special. Um, flavor is not. Now there is design. Mountain Mist was cranberry. Not a big fan of cranberry flavored stuff. But this was pretty good. It tasted like more like cherry to me. Like, and I'm not even a fan of Mist Twist in general personally, but. This is pretty good. I'd say they, yeah, I, mean, I like it. That pepper cherry, Avengers Age of Ultron. Very good. I also did a really good job with this design too. Seeing it's a soda and not like a movie poster, I'd say pretty good. Mountain Dew Game Fuel Berry Lime. Disgusting. I do not like. I don't like this at all. Not particularly good. Tastes, it, it, yeah, it's sour. It's not, it's definitely the worst game I've had. All the only ones I've had are such cherry, mango heat, and this. So, yep. There you go, but regardless, not great at all. Um, Sprite Tropical Mix. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of Sprite flavored stuff, but this is really good, actually. I love this a lot. It really sucks that this is gone, by the way. I did try Sprite Cherry in the bottle. It's, uh, I do a review of 3 out of 5. It's okay. Much more freestyle. Actually, it's really good in freestyle, but Trade Tropical Mix is taste, in my opinion, a combination of Baja Blast Soulfire with a bit of lemon and Soulfire with a bit of lemon lime. It tastes amazing. And yeah, I miss Tropical Mix a lot. This was really good. Definitely the best I've ever had. No doubt. Mountain Dew Game Fuel. It's a cherry double XP, 20 ounce bottle. I've already explained thoughts on this flavor like 50 times throughout this video, so I'm not going to again. Mango Heat Game Fuel, 20 ounce bottle, double XP. Again, same deal as cherry. I explained flip. I already explained the thoughts on the flavor. Coca Cola with my name on it. Not anything special besides that, but yeah, I just thought that was cool. So, there you go. And honestly, I just. I did not share it with anyone, I just had it for myself, so, yeah. Not Pepper with Batman Superman design, 20 ounce bottle. I think they did a mediocre job with the design personally on the bottle. They did much better with the can. 
So, overall, eh, it's a collectible still. Diet Dot Pepper of Energy to Voltron. Not a diet soda fan at all. Most of it, I think, is disgusting. Um, this I tolerate, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Diamond, not diamond. What the hell am I talking about? That's disgusting. Diet Dot Pepper Cherry, I tolerate. That was a big fail, but. Yeah, and Pip Zero I actually tried recently, and not bad. Not great. Great by any means. It's a diet soda, though. What do you expect? No diet soda is great. By so rate like a maybe a three out of five. I like it a bit more than Coke Zero. The Coke Zero is not horrendous by any means, but it's not. Yeah, it's not great. Diet Dot Pepper, though, I tolerate. I actually do find pretty good for a diet soda. Don't want to taste the aftertaste as much as I, as you would think. So, yeah, not bad. Baja Blast in a twenty ounce bottle. Decision. Yep. Good flavor, though. I am glad Pitch Black is here to stay. So, yep. That is it for my soul collection, July twenty seventeen edition. Next update will be after. Not be. Won't be for a little bit. It won't be till after Gamefield comes out. So, peace.